Is it really the Met Gala if one of the Jenners didn't get slammed on the internet for being shady? Because this week, you guys, Kendall Jenner was accused of being a mean girl again. But this time, it was towards her best friend, Gigi Hadid. This should be interesting. Aside from Kendall getting called out this week, Doja Cat also got threatened to being kicked out at the Met Gala for multiple reasons. And y'all, even Rihanna went viral after she went off on the paparazzi for throwing shade at her husband, ASAP Rocky. There's a lot to understand cover in today's video, so make sure to stay tuned to find out what really happened. It hasn't been two days since the Met Gala happened, and people are already making up rumors about the Jenners just to drag them and paint them as villains on the internet. Ever since the drama with Selena Gomez went down, you guys, people have been coming after Kendall and Kylie nonstop. I mean, can you imagine that Kylie is still getting called out to this day for being shady towards Selena when in fact the rumor about her turned out to be completely made up by fans? It's insane how the internet can go from supporting a celebrity to straight up bullying them until they they disappear. But at the same time, we can't really blame people for turning against the Jenners because they do have a history of being shady and fake ever since they became well known. Now, in my previous video, we addressed how the Jenner sisters made a surprise appearance at the Met after they were rumored to be banned from the event months ago. But they did show up together with their sister Kim and their bestie Gigi Hadid, and let me just say, people were not happy with their outfits. There are tons of reasons why people disliked the Kardashians' outfits, especially Kylie, so make sure to check out my previous video. But according to Kylie and her team, her dress actually turned out to have a very special meaning to the event, and it was the perfect tribute for Karl Lagerfeld, who was the theme for this year's Met. So you can say that all the unnecessary hate towards Kylie was intentional and that people had a motive to drag Kylie on the internet, whether she showed up with the perfect dress or not. Now, Kendall, on the other hand, you guys, got dragged for multiple reasons, one of which being her questionable outfit, while the other reason was her mean behavior towards Gigi. Yeah. In this video that went viral, Kendall was caught by someone at the Met faking her laugh to her best friend Gigi Hadid after her smile dropped immediately after she turned around. Check this out. <laughs> People think Kendall was being hella shady towards Gigi for no reason, as her facial expressions were a bit off once she turned around. And y'all, some people also believed that Kendall rolled her eyes as well after she faked her excitement to Gigi. Here's what people had to say. Kendall Jenner giving this nasty look after she turns around while Gigi Hadid is cheering for her is quite sad. Kendall is so rude for no reason. Gigi was being so sweet too. She's never beating the mean girl allegations. Gigi and Kendall friendship is confusing to me because Kendall is such a stone cold and Gigi seems so sweet. Someone's lying here, lol. Despite the hate towards Kendall, she was actually seen in multiple videos at the Met supporting Gigi as they were both getting photographed by the paparazzi. Although some people believe that the hatred that Kendall has towards Gigi was connected to her past drama with her sister Bella after they distanced themselves from each other years ago for multiple reasons. So yeah, it could be possible that Kendall still feels uncomfortable with her friendship with Gigi now that she's no longer friends with her sister. Sister. Either way, we still don't know whether this beef was actually real or not, but let's just move on now to Doja Cat, who stirred up a lot of drama at the Met after she got threatened to get banned from the event. We all saw how Doja Cat went viral over her creative and interesting look at the Met after she decided to dress up as a cat this year paying homage to Karl Lagerfeld's cat, Chopet, who was the theme of the Met. And keep in mind, y'all, this was Doja's debut look at the Met, so the attention on her was hella wild on the internet because you know people just love to share their opinions on celebrities' looks. Although when it came down to Doja's look, you guys, a lot of people were terrified. Some people just described her look as demonic and creepy, while others shared their thoughts on how her cat look could be related to the Illuminati somehow. It was all just crazy accusations going around about Doja's outfit. And y'all, some fans even shared videos of celebrities getting creeped out at Doja's face while they were passing through at the Met. Check this out. So glad you came over Thank to say hi. I, I just want to say you look absolutely stunning, Thank and I love how you are always you. 
no matter what. And you know, I now, the issue wasn't about Doja Cat's outfit specifically because in an interview that Emma was doing with the Blackpink member, Jenny, Doja was caught in the background vaping inside the venue. And well, in case you guys didn't know, Anna Winter, who invites the majority of these celebs to the event, has always shared how smoking inside the venue is the easiest way for celebs to get banned from the event in the future. Check this out. What's the best way to be invited and what's the best way to never be invited back again? What really ticks you off, Anne? <laughs> Andrew, I'm gonna let you take that one. Oh my one. gosh, smoking. Smoking, smoking. smoking yes, in the smoking. galleries. Despite the concerns people shared over Doja possibly getting banned in the future for smoking inside the venue, fans are now reassuring people not to worry as many huge celebrities have smoked inside the event in the past and they're still getting invited to the Met to this day. Anyways, y'all, let's just end today's video with Rihanna who went off on a paparazzi at the Met after she threw shade at her husband. It honestly surprised me that Rihanna made an appearance at the Met this year because as y'all know, Rihanna is currently pregnant with her second child and she seems hella busy lately with her life and her beauty line and possibly music. However, many people were shocked to see how Rihanna appeared to be going to the hotel in New York City to get ready for the Met since it was pretty late for her to go to the Met on time as the event had already begun. People started sharing their thoughts on social media about this situation and how it isn't a good look on Rihanna to be late for an important events and award shows as she tends to do that every single time. But either way, Rihanna and her husband, ASAP Rocky, managed to arrive at the Met five hours later, when many paparazzi had left and all the celebrities had entered the venue. And well, let's just say people were extremely disappointed with her dress. A lot of them thought that Rihanna put in zero effort into her dress after she seemed unbothered with how she arrived late at the event despite thousands of people waiting for her. But at the same time, you can't really say anything about Rihanna because people are still gonna wait on the streets for hours till she comes out. I mean, you won't imagine the amount of paparazzi who were excited to take the pictures of Rihanna on the carpet despite her being five hours late. And for that, this situation made a lot of paparazzi focus on Rihanna instead of her husband, ASAP, who was literally holding her hand the entire time and who's also a popular artist too. Thankfully, one of the paparazzi recognized this issue and decided to call ASAP's name at the Met to make him feel better about the paparazzi ignoring him and y'all just take a look at how Rihanna reacted. Despite how Rihanna's response was very sarcastic, a lot of people thought that she was in fact offended by the paparazzi for mentioning how her husband's name wasn't being called. And well, just take a look at what people had to say about the situation. No, cause why would you say that? It was kinda shady, lol, she could just called his name and not point out his name wasn't being called. I would have been so embarrassed if Riri said that to me. That was so rude for no reason. I would love to hear your opinions on this situation down below, but for now, make sure to click on the tab above for more videos on these celebs.